Hey, this is Coach Jason Todd. Make sure you check out Boss Talk 101 with ECEO and Miss Jamaica. How do you begin to describe the game that you just coached through? Uh, they're just happy for these kids. Uh, like we talked to them at halftime, we told them about a character reveal. You know, we've been up in some games, but one thing we know how to do, we know how to claw back and scratch it out and find a way to win at the end. And I'm proud of these guys and the coaches uh, for never, uh, never losing faith and to keep believing. Keep believing. Speaking of those halftime adjustments, defensively you made some... Um, how did it feel after all of these years for you to um, to accomplish what you accomplished and win in the state championship like that? Uh, the the biggest thing was that man to to, to kind of put it in words is like for something that you you strive for every day, but you never know if you're gonna really get there, and then kind of see the promised land. It, like words can't really describe it because it's kind of like a feeling that I don't even know the word to describe. It. You know, like like it's, it's no word to really describe that feeling because at the end of the day, it's like, hey, did we really do this? So it's kind of like you're still in the dream world, you know, yeah. to a, to a certain degree where, you know, shoot, you know, it is, man, it, it was like a something you've been preaching to somebody on blind faith all these years. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and they just been walking with you blindfolded, not knowing where you're taking them. But then to finally get there. So, you know, I related to, like, believing in the Bible. You believe in the Bible, like, did that see really part? That's you, it. That's you, it. You know, mm-hmm. that, that you put all them animals on that boat. So, that's it. you know, come from our neighborhood because we so chastised and say what we can't do and we ain't good enough and we ain't smart enough. We can't control the kids. It's our talent. So you so beat down so much that when you get to this point, you know, you, you really just – want to look at everybody, you know, and just go off, you know, yeah, really. Yeah, Because yeah. the last time a team from Dallas won was in the 1950s. Yeah. I mean, 58, uh, 58. Is, is what they say in the record books, but it's 1988, you yeah, know. And I know oh, why you know. say that, yeah. because of what that? happened. Why? Be- because Carter actually won state in 88, mm-hmm. but later, a couple of years later, they, they were stripped it. of the title. Okay, yeah. yeah. But, you yeah. know, I was at the stadium. I saw it. I saw them score the touchdowns. I saw the score with 31 and 14, I believe. So I witnessed it, so. You know, they can't take the they victory away from me yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and I get that because you've seen it and you understand what those kids went through to get yeah. what they got. Mm-hmm. And everybody wasn't to be blamed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.